give me a, a second. I need to set this right now. I just need a second. Hi, welcome to me being chill for a while. As you can see on the screen, yes, this is being me. It's a whole thing now. <laughs> it almost kind of looked like a ball sack, and I kind of wish I had made it that for a while there, but I, I tried to not be too uh, gross with it. But <laughs> it's being me in a blanket. <laughs> Now, here's why I'm upset. What I was going to do today was just get some drawings out of the way, some speed art, so it'd be a little bit easier for me to do videos and I'm not just speed arting alone like a psychopath. But, that's not going to work. And this is kind of why, this is a part of the reason why I'm so sad and the title is what the title is. <laughs> because, for some reason, when I woke up this morning, and I tried to edit. See how like on the side there of the, the border that I made? It's like reference picture. I was going to, I had like the layers to where I could edit that out. And I was going to do that today. Where I was just going to take off that part. Because I was going to play some video games first and then put it back on for later. I use auto, what the auto sketchbook. Auto sketchbook desk. You know what I use. Fucking you guys see it. You know it. And it froze. <laughs> and it will not start for me at all. I don't know why. I've tried uninstalling it, reinstalling it. I have tried fucking with the settings and that probably fucked it up even more. I have done everything I need to do. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because I updated my computer last night? I don't know. But it's, it's not working at all. And that's the only program that I use. I'm not comfortable using any other pro program anymore. And I don't got the brush set settings. And I had the layers. I had everything. It was all there. <laughs> and it's gone now. And I can try to fix it later. But like I got so frustrated and upset. I was just like I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Whatever man. Because like it's so sad. But uh yeah so. You were gonna see it's a really pretty border and it was gonna be like a whole thing because I'm trying to like step up my game and I wanted to put a border for some reason. And I made these cute little like simple flowers because I'm a simple bitch. I'm a basic ass bitch. But you're not gonna see it because I can't do anything because my life is over. So we're going to talk about some random topics that I feel like talking about today and we're gonna play Genshin. I don't usually like playing Genshin. I feel like no one likes seeing me play video games. But I don't have anything else for you guys. I, I guess I could whip out another uh whip out another um drawing software part way through of me uh doing this. Or if I start getting bored of Genshin or if I can't move on any further. But Bruh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I really like this. I really wanted it to be a thing, but it's not. So, I'm going to turn off this background music, first of all. I'm going to not be so sad about this. <laughs> let me turn off the background music and let me find... Or let me, uh, find something a bit more... Less dramatic. Let's just say I'll find something less dramatic. Jazz? Jazz is always less dramatic. Find a good one is the problem. No. I guess when this one is great. Does it have words to it though? No. Just classical jazz. That works.
Yeah, I'll turn it down a little bit more so it's not super overbearing. <sighs> Here, give me a second. I gotta figure out everything. Cause, oh, that's the thing. Playing Genshin, it's hard because the way Genshin works on my computer is not the way I feel like it's supposed to work, you know? So, again, give me a second. Thank you, Plane. I love you for just doing what you're doing. Um. Nope. There we go. Uh, let's see. Which picture is this? But... God, my life sucks. So you're gonna see. I'm gonna take away the border because I honestly, at this point, I mean, I could keep it there, but because I'm not drawing, there's kind of no reason to keep it there, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take away the border, and I'm going to be in person. Just gonna stay in the side like that. I guess. I love it. It's just like so cute. I look so dead inside. Uh, there we go. Anyways, today has been on some other shit, you know? I think, okay, well, here's the thing. I'm really sick, right? And when I say, like, really sick, like, not to the point where, like, I'm dying or anything. Oh, fuck, I turned it off. <laughs> Not to the point where I'm like dying or anything, just to the point where like I can hide it well enough. Cause that's the thing, when I'm sick I don't like to like be sick, be sick. In the sense of like act sick, do sick things, be like regular sick. Also, uh, I, oh, I, I didn't see the people commenting on the side, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, when was the last time You've seen darkness every day of my life. I don't live in the light. Like, actually. Uh, how's your luck with the new Genshin characters? Uh, I got... I got that, the cat girl, which I was really excited about. I was like, yay! I fucking got the cat girl. My life is complete. Then I realized that she was, a like, a bow user. And I immediately, all my excitement left me. Because I'm like, oh. She uses the bow. Yeah, yay, I, I totally love that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I hate it. But that's on my other account. I'm trying to level up this one because I uh, I actually do like all the characters on here. Like, uh, let me show you. Let me show you the greatness. Uh, Right, so even when they look... <laughs> I love their poses. Even when they have like their weapons, it's like, bam. 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 Like they all look so cool and I love it. I don't know why I'm obsessed with that part. <laughs> Just the posing. Sure their legs look kind of weird and wonky but like it still looks cool for some reason. What? Oh yesterday you learned how to drive. Also hello. Hello uh. Eat. Emo's bunny is what I'm trying to say before my mouth was like no, but you say that you're learning to drive. You fear for your life. <laughs> you fear for the life of everything around you. <laughs> That's funny. Also, hello smiles. We mean piss. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> no, but I love the general like I don't know. This group of characters is just some reason the shit to me I don't know why but I'm trying to live up with these characters my other characters I have to it's kind of gotten slow to where like I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this but you don't really have many side quests that I, I don't have to look up if that makes sense so like I'm gonna explain it in the simplest ways a lot of side quests you have to like look them up because they're not so straightforward and they have like puzzles and whatnot and those ones like I'm like I don't really want to like figure it out or I'm like ah, I just want to level up so I can get to the next part of the story 
and I'm running out of those and those are kind of the only ones I have left so I'm basically just running out of side quests between them running out of ways to level up which is, means I'm running out of ways to uh, get to where I need to get and it's just to the point where I'm like ah, I don't want to start all over or anything I just wish there were a little bit more like I, I wish I didn't have to run around trying to find side quests to complete you know but you know it, it's it's whatever's it's the whatever's um what else can I I have a list like a bitch right now I don't know why but what else was I gonna talk about right I was gonna talk about several things I was making videos about several things because I thought the sickness would be just be like uh like a one and go type thing I didn't think I'd be this sick as I actually am right now but nah fam I'm like sick sick and it's like fuck like when I'm sick at least to this point of sick I feel terrible but I've learned to fake it over the years because I don't know why people I get sick very often very easily I'm almost most of the time I'm sick like if I sound sick or I sound okay I'm probably sick still so like <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I kind of um I've just kind of I wouldn't say learn to deal with it uh I've just kind of learned to hide it very well because I'm like no I care so I'm sick anyways it's not like I'm gonna you know have any sympathy from the sickness or anything it's just it's what it is that's how I feel anyways and so because of that I feel like damn it I'm getting this guy out no, but um, because of that, I have the, not the tendency, what word I'm looking for, I have the, let's see, I guess talent to just pretend, well not pretend, but uh, act like I'm not sick. I remember, I'm honestly, I'm so sick I forgot what I was saying for a second. I was trying to figure it out, but I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Stop it. What? Oh, he died. I didn't even see that. It wouldn't even let me move. I was trying to move away from it, but it wouldn't let me move. That's so stupid. Okay, he's dead. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> that quickly, I'm losing my train of thought. Um... No, but I've been so sick to where like sitting at a desk or even just at my computer looking at the screen makes me sick. You know what I mean? Like drawing, like, I was drawing last night and I would have to like take a break every so often and just put the covers <laughs> over me just so I wouldn't like, not, well, no, it, it was because I didn't want to puke, basically. And it's not like, uh, you know. It's not like I'm deadly or deathly sick to where like I can't do anything, but it's God, I'm just so sickly. I've always been so sickly. To where it's just like I, I don't want to live right. Now. I really don't, cause it, it just sucks, man. And either my nose is stuffed up, or I just feel shitty. Or like I wake up and I feel like I'm about to pass out. It's the whole thing. I'm having a whole pity party. Right um let's see i don't even know why i'm making these <sighs> excuse me yeah excuse me but i was gonna make a video was what i was trying to say on um several situations that i ended up not making a video on i was gonna even make a live stream uh for the pyro situation but people have covered it well no people have covered it pretty meh but uh everybody is under the assumption that he's purely innocent and the guy lied through his teeth which uh, as you guys saw if you're in my discord server you know for a fact that is not true boy really didn't lie about much he just said that something that he well he from what i can gather he assumed something that honestly i would have assumed i would have assumed the right word to use in this this case was groomer but even if he didn't come out with it being groomer it's not like a lot of his stuff wasn't true pyro didn't come out with fucking any evidence saying anything he was just like look this might be a thing 
He low-key, but high key, well, him and his girlfriend low-key confirmed that those messages were from him. And at that point, he admitted to a hell of a lot of stuff. He said the N-word like he was, like he was drinking water. Like, it was a whole thing. And people are just like, but he's innocent, though. But, like, why should I even care that, like, he's low-key an asshole? He low-key didn't show any evidence. And he low-key didn't really, uh, was where not victimize himself. But, he, like, literally before we learned that uh no not even that before his thing came out we already knew that he wasn't a groomer just by the evidence and even uh, i reset himself like i don't really think it's a groomer now that you say that or now that you explain it okay I, I see what you mean by that we already knew this information and people thought he was sketchy and then all of a sudden he comes out with literally barely any evidence and literally actually no i'm sorry literally no evidence couldn't prove anything couldn't even provide sources really how one of the people that had the or that was uh he was giving one of the people that he was using the evidence retracted his statement and apologized like it's a whole thing this man literally gave no fucks he basically was like yeah i there's more evidence to say that i knew this person was a minor but i didn't groom him so i'm purely innocent and everybody's just like well and it's that thing of like I'm not gonna lie to you. If this was anybody else, or this was somebody that that was more mainstream, this wouldn't be the thing. This this wouldn't be a, a a thing. People would still be shade on that person. It wouldn't be a well. He's innocent. See, this is why people don't believe victims. Is because the boy again. The boy didn't really lie. He really didn't. Pyro lied. <laughs> he literally lied in his statement. He the boy really didn't lie, and people are just like, this is why we don't believe victims. I'm like. No, the boy just got confused on what this actually was. Again, I can understand why he would think that this would be grooming, especially because he knew he was a minor. That doesn't mean that he said explicit pictures or explicit pictures of himself or anything like that. It's more just like fat fetish art. And yes, this is very manipulative towards his audience because you could have done this in a chat room with your girlfriend, found a girlfriend. You could have done this anywhere else. There are places, there are literally places on the internet where you can get this stuff. You specifically have been doing this with fans. And then in those messages were guilt, like acted guilty as if like, how can I explain it? Like he he said in that in that uh, uh the screenshot of that paragraph he was talking about Keem and whatnot that you're nervous about this coming out because you know it's wrong. And the way his girlfriend was talking to the boy Cash crazy and the way that he was talking to the boy Cash crazy, and people are just like, no, he's innocent. He's innocent of the grooming allegations, yes, but the rest of the stuff is still dickish behavior. It's still gross toxic kind of manipulative dickish behavior does that make him a pedophile or anything like that no it doesn't make him innocent of everything doesn't mean that i relied about everything that's not even the truth of the matter it didn't even mean that he showed evidence it just means that you're not you're not a, basically we can't be like you're a pedo i can still say you're an asshole you're a dick you're a weirdo <laughs> and you're kind of manipulative and you were kind of being manipulative like, those are things I can genuinely say. Sorry, I thought my music was turned up too loud. But that, those are things I can genuinely say because of the evidence provided against you. Does that mean that, you know, people can't watch him anymore, this, that, and third? No, that's your personal preference. But I'm not going to totally pretend as if, you know, this didn't happen. <laughs> like, that's how some people were acting, as if... This whole, this means nothing happened. Nothing that happened in that those text messages or not those text messages. I'm sorry, those Discord messages or anything happened. It just didn't happen. I just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and like that's just not how it works. And I don't understand that. And give me a second because I need to do something. <laughs> sorry, somebody sent me messages now, so I have to. Sorry, I'm gonna put a thing on screen really quickly. Where's the thing? Nope. What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna put this on screen really quickly. Oop. <laughs> My thing fell. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to check this because I saw a message just now. Yeah. 
Now, unless something came out that I wasn't looking at, which is totally understandable, that's kind of how I feel about the matter. Again, he's not a a monster. He's not a, 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 a pedophile. He's not a groomer. He's not any of these things. But I'm looking at you pretty sus. And the N-word thing, he didn't even address. Which, I'm not sure if he's addressed using the N-word in the past or anything like that. So, I don't know that part of it. But he didn't address it. Oh, he didn't act, he act like oh, all the stuff he said or did just never happened. I think he used the R word at one point. No, I think I'm, no, I'm, like, I'm making that up. I think that's another person. But I know for a fact he used the N word. <laughs> it was a whole thing. And people are just flat out ignoring it, bruh. And I'm just like, that's so, ah, it makes you a douchebag. <laughs> that does not make you a good person in my eyes. And I'm looking at these people that are really just like, and honestly this has been happening for a while i'm not sure this is just me or not where you see like content creators straight up like i would th they're not lying what's the word i'm looking for they are ignoring the truth and that's kind of been for a while now to where i've seen people just be like oh this person isn't this one thing so they're not anything and it's like, no, this person can not be a pedophile or a groomer and still be kind of an asshole and have lied. Like, that's those two things can exist at the same time. People are just like, no. And, like, I think... I don't want to... No, I'm not going to call that person out because they've been toxic on my mind for a while. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh, this is just a merchant post poster that's what this is i don't know why it's pointing to it i don't know that's like a thing i have to do but uh it was a walk to or talk to the blacksmith okay but like it, it's just a uh toxic thing that's been happening for a while now and i've been seeing it on t it's like the oh, i don't want to bring it up it's the whole toby situation i'm not gonna go into it or anything i'm just saying it's like the whole toby situation where like no, if one, like, if Toby's a bad person, that means no one else can be a bad person unless they're against, like, I, it's a whole thing. It's like, no, everybody's kind of a hypocrite in that situation. It was basically like, uh, Toby made fun of, or P Toby criticized Creep Show Art, people criticized Toby, and now Creeper, people are criticizing Kai and Omnia. It's literally a pattern of hypocrisy because people boost somebody up so high and don't call them out on their shit, and then one day, kind on me well kind of, um, i'm not even gonna talk about the video because i was gonna make a video about that i'm not even gonna say nothing they've done it already but one day kind of you're gonna do something to where they say something to somebody with no proof or they don't look into their stuff or they don't do research they've already done that but i'm not gonna talk about it <laughs> they don't do certain things and then they're gonna see it and then somebody's going to shit on them for it and when it happens it's going to be literally a pattern because people forgot the whole point of that whole situation was just to criticize someone so they can learn and grow and now it's become something totally different that's toxic and gross and uh, it's a lot and people just don't understand that we're all hypocrites everyone's a little bit of a hypocrite it's a whole thing uh and again i'm not gonna go into that i was just saying in general it's the same shit of like you need to listen you know you need to think before you speak right uh don't just accept everything also because people tend to accept whatever somebody says as fact especially if they're a bigger youtuber like if i come out and say i didn't do this uh, you're gonna accept it and i'm like no no i am not i'm going to look at the facts of the matter because if this person didn't have facts if you don't have facts as well I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? I guess it was something difficult to prove, by the way. But if it's something like, just show us this or just show us that or tell us that this isn't true by telling us the facts of the matter, don't try to, like, tiptoe your ass around it, you know? But, you know, nobody cares about facts anymore, honestly. I, like, genuinely, nobody cares. And not in every situation, but if it's not a cookie... Cl sorry. Having a stroke. <laughs> if it's not a cookie cut, a cookie cut, excuse me, a cookie cut clear situation, then people will tend to not give a fuck, which is not abnormal, 
It's just happening at abnormal rate nowadays. All the woke, <laughs> not all the woke YouTubers, but all the YouTubers that I was like, yeah, I like you because you like facts. And where am I going? <laughs> going nowhere. You know, I, I like you because you like facts. And, and you wouldn't lead me astray as an adult. I'm like, oh my God, you're leading me astray. And God, you never, you don't really do your research like that, actually. And like, you're making, you're literally sitting up here making claims about someone that you don't even wow and i used to watch you jesus and you know again i say that everybody's a little bit of a hypocrite and that's fine but for me it's like after a certain point if i have to like check everything you're doing it's like god it's too much i'm sorry i'm not reading you guys stuff what are you saying i have a daily boss run map uh, my friend made if you want it's good for grinding for materials and for uh Oh, uh, experience too. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you guys act like I went deep into this game. This is, I don't know what that is and I don't know how to do it. Like genuinely, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, I picked a... I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that food is. And I don't want to try to pronounce that word because I... My mouth was, was about to, and I, it wasn't going to come out right. It turned out great, even though I used weak biscuits and cake flour. Hmm. I mean, excuse me. Here, let me listen to what this person has to say first. Oh, I don't know if I can actually hear it, actually. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually hear what the girl is saying. Actually, I think I turned the thing down. Well, I turned their voices up, but maybe I didn't. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Which I doubt it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I can even hear that. So it's what it is. I I wish you could go into the settings halfway through. I'm just gonna skip through this cutscene, and then I'm gonna turn down the music a bit more so I can actually hear the uh, the people talking. But basically, uh, she has to work with the. Or she doesn't want to work with the Fatui and they stepped up on her door like, bitch, you need to do something about your place. It's a whole thing. It's a whole fight. Let's see if I can turn it up. So I'm going to come here and... Nope. I always do the last one. <laughs> I'm going to turn the music to... A... 10. The ten's good. There we go. So I'm gonna turn it to a ten. And so oh, sorry, that's too loud. <laughs> sorry, let me turn it. There we go. That shouldn't be too loud. <laughs> that shouldn't be too loud. Okay. I turn- ooh, I'm getting a head cold. That's not a good. Um, how do I explain a head cold? Yeah, you can barely hear the music. That's good. Just like a little barely. Hopefully it's not too overpowering or anything. So... Let's see. <coughs> Actually, let me not do that. There we go. Let's see if I can make this work. Now I'm taking off this. And go here. Well, you know when your head gets like, you know when you get like goosebumps and it goes from like your head down? That's what I'm getting right now and I'm <laughs> not feeling it. Uh, I have a daily bot. I read that. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Oh, it's French bread. Oh, 
Oh, a baguette. That's what it says. Oh, I can barely see it. I'm far away from my computer. And there's glare because it's the middle of the morning. Or rather, the afternoon. But, uh... Oh, you said a baguette. I was like, ba... What is that? <laughs> I saw a B-A-G. I saw a U. And then the rest is kind of fuzzy. I was like, I don't know what the fuck is. <laughs> I don't know what food you're making. Uh, just wanted to stop by and wish you guys a good... Or wish you a good day, Luna. Thank you. No, we can't hear it. I knew it. <laughs> I can see by the thing. Like, no, nah, y'all can't even hear it. <laughs> Did I just turn the voice on? I think I might have. I don't think I meant to, but I think I might have. Let's see. Uh, let me turn the voices all the way up and see how that works. Not that. Uh, nope. Turn everything on one. Not the- er, Oh, that's why. I'm stupid. It wasn't even anything. I turned the, the, the main volume down like an idiot. <laughs> uh, I guess on four? Let me see. Uh. Okay. So, I was right to turn it lower than that. I usually just keep the voices on so I can hear the voice acting, but that's about it. I don't need anything else on, honestly. Um... Turn on a one. I wonder how it sounds then. That works. Well, let me turn it up a little bit more. One more and then I'll, I'll make that the end. Well, no, it's, it's already kind of competing with my volume already. It's kind of hard to gauge how it actually sounds without, like, just listening through my phone or something. But I don't want to do that. If it's too loud, tell me. Do, 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 No, but, uh, what was I saying already? Um. When you uh, see an enemy, that shit is loud. I forgot. Like a da dun. <laughs> I hate that. It's always so loud. I always blow my fucking eardrums out. <laughs> like the fuck? Why are you so loud? Damn it. No, but um. God, I lost my train of thought that quickly. I was complaining about that. But. Getting off the pyro situation because we're all we're kind of done with that. Um, there also was a situation with Hey Paris, which I'm actually glad people actually talked about because sometimes when it comes to stuff like this, people literally don't talk about it unless it's their friends or their people that they know. And to be fair, I saw it like trickle, so I, I kind of realized what was happening. Like it was like one person did it because a bunch of people were tagged about it. And one person did it and it kind of just was like no one really cared until they saw their friends doing it pretty much but because i saw it like happen the first day and i'm like you guys have enough information but give me a second let me let them talk for a second let me take a look hmm. i can see impurities in the crystal but upon further inspection oh, i'm sorry I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Misa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. Though, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They're incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! God, that hurt! The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when you get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to vision. The impurities in the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. 
You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. What would just be a pain if left with us? So Please stop harassing me. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Pavonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight. Honorary Knight of Pavonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Momentary rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt sees pains in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. I didn't accept yet, so, but okay. No, but, uh, this girl named, I want to say her name is Marlena. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I forget. I believe it is Marlena, but, uh, the channel's called Mar, so I'm going to go with Mar. Uh, basically, she just stole her content and then got bitchy and mad when people were mad about it. To be fair, there are some confusion in what all happened from what I can gather but still like it, it, at the end of the day bitch literally took a story time <sighs> I've seen the story time but it was a story time that she made and basically cut it down to like you know how you if you know Harry Paris you know she'd just be telling all the details of the story in its entirety she would basically put us on a whole ro emotional roller coaster and she cut all the details out from what I can from, from how short the thing is it seems like she just cut all the details out and told like the story in a summarized version but not in her own words basically just like again just took all the the long ass details out and said it word for word uh but people called there's a whole debate actually about people saying that uh, hey Paris wasn't credited in the description for it but then was credited after she was called out and all this happened in a very short span so it was like less than an hour less than 30 minutes from what I can gather of when she put the credit back in allegedly now even though there's a whole debacle about that I'm gonna have to give you know Mar the benefit of the doubt of saying like oh she could have what's the word I'm looking for she could have forgot the credit initially and then you know put it in the description in the sense of like oh I forgot to put it in the description or the you know the thing didn't copy and paste over or whatever but she didn't explicitly say it in the video so it's a whole thing still you know but even if she did she lied about it or she said that I the description or the uh credit was always in the description like I don't know what people are talking about and several people were like no I'm pretty sure it wasn't like I, I thought I, I could have saw it with my own eyes that it wasn't and me and Paris like I saw it with my own eyes shit wasn't in the description she swears up and down it was so that's kind of like a we got, you gotta take your word or you gotta take people's word for it and you know you can't there's not really any proof to that like, I don't think there was any screenshots showing that. And if there are, then I'm just... I didn't see them. Let me, read, let me see what Pyre Mod has to say first. There is something you didn't tell them. The, the dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So we do remember him. That green guy. He was just like that guy down there. Mm-hmm. Good thinking, Paimon. Paimon is annoying, though. Uh, but... Excuse me. After that, it kind of went to be a bigger thing than it needed to be. Uh, because... Uh, you know, Hey Paris made a video about it basically being like, This bitch literally stole my content. And she wasn't wrong. She blatantly stole her content. And so, because of that, Mar said, she, well, no, actually, let me be honest with her. Her 
beginning statement on this matter basically said that she no it didn't actually it's, uh, there was no apology from what i remember i think it was on her it wasn't on her instagram was it or was it it wasn't on her instagram i know it ended up being on her community tab but i want to say the first place it was oh, on was Can we climb up from here? i want to say the first place it was was on the instagram For a second. But basically it said, you know, this, I think it was like a, this was a mistake or something like that. I can't, I, I wish I could pull it up right now, but I can't. Um, in a nutshell, it was like, I'm sorry for doing, or not really, not really saying I'm sorry, but I'm sorry for doing this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to retell somebody's story, but you guys can still put, you know, send your stories to my email and I'll read the ones, those ones out. And I don't think there was really even a sorry. No, I don't think there was a sorry in there at all. So it wasn't like an apology. It was basically like a, um, you know, um, no, it was a, unfortunately you guys didn't like this. So I'm just not going to do that anymore. But you guys can still like give me your story so I can have some money. I'm not going to do this really quickly because I am still talking. But uh, that happened. And then after that, and that happened, she acts like that didn't happen, but that happened. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's still on her community tab. Um, if it's not, it wasn't on her community tab, then it was on her Instagram. But um, after that happened, and all that, she claims to have messaged Paris with an apology, which she did. And she thought it was going to be Gucci after that, pretty much. And it's like, no, I mean, even if you said sorry, you, like, let's be realistic. You're a YouTuber with like 13, sorry, 1300, 13 million, million, <laughs> with 13 million on one channel and 2 million on the other channel. I think you're smart enough. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I think you're smart enough to know that you shouldn't be stealing someone else's content without their permission. Because no matter what, she didn't even get permission from Paris. She just took it. And still thinks it's okay that she just said sorry and that's it. You took it and you knew that you were going to make money off of this. You knew you were going to profit off of this. And you knew you didn't ask her. And that's just point blank period. I don't think you're stupid enough to do that and truly believe, nah, nah, it's good. We're good. You know, like, I don't I don't believe that. I'm not going to insult your intelligence like that. Don't insult mine. And so she was kind of, you know, feeling some type of way about it and whatnot. By the way, when you apologize, no one has to accept your apology, which she didn't, by the way, but she didn't have to. And then I want to say after that, and I might be getting the thing kind of wrong, but after that, she started, like, liking comments that basically call in Paris a clout chaser. You know, you stole her video, but she's a clout chaser, whatever. You know what I mean? It's the way it is. And so she did that, and so on top of her doing that, on top of her, uh, like she, she low-key, Mar made it seem like it was nothing. Like she played it off as if, you know, I just made a mistake, it's whatever, like, whoops, like, it's like, no, like, you didn't just make like a silly mistake, you straight up stole somebody's content and yeah you're gonna get shit on for that for some days actually some weeks probably and for the rest of your life <clears throat> and so then may hey paris made another video on top of that shitting on her even more because the first video she was she wasn't like super calm but she was pretty pretty calm you know what i mean but the second video she went off in every way shaver every way shape and form she went all the way off and to be fair in the first video she did say a few things that i was like okay you can't prove that and i know for a fact you're just clearly taking your subscribers word for it which i'm like okay you shouldn't be doing that if you can't prove something with like a fact you shouldn't be telling people that like that's what happened example i think she talked about a situation mara had with a company i'm not even i'm just going around in circles i'm sorry i'll come back to this but um Mar had with a company and that company I want to say it was they gave her an eye infection I believe that that's what it was 
Sorry if you hear my niece, I can't do anything about that. But she gave her an eye infection and she said how she lied about the company and things like that. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't think you knew that. From the short time span you uh, were doing your research, I don't think you knew that. And that's more of an accusation than anything. And I haven't looked into it, so it might be true, but I don't think it's true. And I think she actually did have the eye infection. She was stealing other people's thumbnails. She stole, she straight up stole Sniper Wolf stuff. And I saw that and I was like, that looks like Sniper Wolf stuff. <laughs> Am I just crazy? Or and people were like, nah, 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 she took that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So, I mean, she's been doing that for a while, apparently. And I'm sure that people could find more content that she's stolen. But, you know, this is just the surface level stuff. And nobody cares anymore at this point. Um, but I can understand that type of thing of like Mar feeling like, well, she lied about me. And I'm like, well, I mean, if people think that's what you've done and maybe she just didn't see the video, then, you know, it's what it is. Obviously, you she can't, it's not like Paris could have gave you the benefit of the doubt that you could have gave her. She was mad that you stole her content. You knew that that was bad. Paris, you know, only assumed at that point that uh, that you did all those things. And not saying that it's right, because it's not. You shouldn't assume stuff like that about people. But I can totally understand why she would. When I'm mad, you know how many times I've said stuff that, like, wasn't true and I was making up out of my ass because I was just angry. And I'm like, fuck this bitch. <laughs> she got gonorrhea. Like... I've never done that, but like that type of attitude, and you may not be saying that like with the actual intention that maybe that person has that, but you know, still, you know, I can understand why she would say something as cash crazy as she did. She has anxiety, you know, I mean, there's, there's certain reasons why I understand it. Does it make it okay? No, because I don't know if it's true or not, but I don't think it's true. And I think Mar proved that it wasn't true, but, uh, I can totally understand why it doesn't make it right it just means i can understand it mar on the other hand again i'm still gonna say it did you're not four you're a decent sized channel you know why you shouldn't steal other people's stuff especially uh when you're profiting off of it especially when you didn't even try to ask for permission and you can't just say sorry and act like it never happened also she's dumb because she really thinks that she can dictate how people are mad how long they're mad when they should get mad when they shouldn't all that type of shit you know what i mean it's a whole thing anyways mar did make a video trying to clear up some things and some things i'm like okay yeah you did clear up but the rest of it it was like uh nah because ex for example she low-key still kind of was trying to justify it of what she did in that video i'm not gonna lie to you that's the way it came off like her still trying to justify it and in paris's second video she did talk about how she made an apology and paris put her paris said it and put her apology in the description of her video and guess who didn't see it mar <laughs> mar did not see it she's like she didn't even read or talk about how i apologized to her and she's like i did i saw it and I put that apology in the description box of my <laughs> of my video, just like how you put my credit in the description box. It didn't say it specifically in the video. And so, <laughs> just being petty. I love it, though. But, I mean, it's true. I mean, yeah. no one looks in the description box like that. Or, if you don't explicitly say that it's not your thing, then nobody's going to just take the time to do that. And... Not sure that's laziness on the audience part, but also you shouldn't have took it in the first place. If you asked permission, you wouldn't have had to even do any of that, you know? Anyways. It was basically a bunch of back and forth of... Yeah, I stole your content, but it's not that big of a deal. Kind of. And so on the end of the day, no matter what was like a he said, she said type situation, which a lot of this was... You still stole someone's content without permission, and you're still acting like a fucking entitled bitch about it, you know? And acting like it was not that big of a deal, but then getting mad when somebody apparently slanders your name, and it's like, but you stole my content, though. That doesn't make it necessarily right. Both things can be wrong. Stealing the content and slandering her, look, or slandering her, I'll use that in quotations can still be wrong but uh 
you also can't steal somebody's content and they expect nothing to happen. So again, I see them both wrong in the situation, but if I were to like a side with somebody or I were to support someone, I would definitely be supporting Paris in this situation because it's not cool. You didn't ask for permission, you took her shit, and you profited off of And then you tried to make it as if it wasn't like a big deal that you even, because I only made, she, she said it because uh, Paris said in her video, like you could still like, you know, PayPal me that coin. <laughs> and it's like, I only made what, like $42 off of it or something like that. You know, before she privated it. And it's like, ma'am, No, you have you know how much? How can I explain what I'm trying to say? That wasn't the point. If that makes sense, like that wasn't the point of how much money exactly it was. The point was that at least you could do, in all, was apologize to me, make it clear that it was my video, never do it again, not make a deal big deal about it because you didn't even really apologize in public at first she did not apologize in public until this whole thing blew up by the way and paris's fans started being like can bitch what is your problem <laughs> she you know you could have apologized in public and private and then you could have uh paypal me the money and the situation would have never happened which is what she should have done and at this point loki she's just been shifting blame and trying to make it as if she's still a victim of the situation. And I'm like, this person may have gotten information wrong about you because they didn't see your, what, apology that even I couldn't, or I had to take the time to look up because they were mad because you stole their damn content. Which is shitty, again, which is a kind of shitty thing to do. But it's nothing in comparison. It's not even close, it's not even an apples to apples situation of you blatantly stealing their content trying to make money off of it and then being a bitch and then not apologizing in public and then not even telling your audience why you actually had to take the video down and saying well you guys just didn't like this video and it's like no that's not what happened actually what happened was i stole somebody's content they're not cool with it anymore they weren't cool with it in the first place but they're not cool with it now and they didn't appreciate me doing it, so I had to take it down and go check out their channel. She was just like, well, I guess you guys don't like this, so... You know, I'll just do something different. <laughs> like... You're more in the wrong than anybody else. She may have assumed, I think, that and maybe something... I don't know, I think it was something else, but it, she assumed that about you, but... <sighs> I would, too. You've been stealing content for how long? You got like a sketchy past here on YouTube anyways, from what I can see. Or from what I've been seeing on uh, Twitter and, and different, different sites really actually at this point. But you kind of don't seem genuine. You know what I mean? You kind of seem like the basic Tati Westbrook ass YouTuber. That's just like, I'm the victim in every situation, and you're not going to tell me otherwise. I have a pretty face, so. And not saying that's how she is, but that's the way she comes off. So I can, I can assume, excuse me, yes. Nope, give me a second.
<laughs> My sister gave me a present. It was chocolate in a in a sloth bowl. <laughs> or not a sloth bowl, but a sloth uh, cup. And I'm like, thank you. That was a loud knock. Scared the shit out of me while I was talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. That scared me. Like I when I I, I like jump. You know, I get really scared about stuff. I'm sorry, give me a second. <laughs> but like <laughs> Cause like I almost choked. I look you almost choked. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. I got chocolate now. I just gross. I'm not a peppermint person. But it's fine. I don't really like chocolate like that to be fair. And peppermint chocolate especially. Ugh. Throw up. Unless it's one of those peppermint things and like I I, I just need it. Or I just need to eat it because like I'm hungry. Like at, like at church or something like that. I'm not gonna eat it. What did I say? Basically, Mars trash. Moral of the story, Mars trash. Um, do you try making any new recipes? Uh, watch Billa... What is it? B Billa... Oh, I can't see without my mic, damn it! I see a B, and I'm trying to like, figure out the rest of the letters. Ah, uh, something cat videos. That's what I'm looking at. But uh, any particular reason why I should be doing that? And why I ask is because like sometimes y'all be sending me down rabbit holes <laughs> when I go down rabbit holes. <laughs> is it funny? Is it scary? Is it like a beheading video? Like, I don't know. I don't. I'm scared. Hmm. Hmm. Let's talk a good shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm gonna be talking like this the whole time. You can barely understand me. Let me, get, let me just talk real quickly. Hmm. 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 Look at that one chocolate that comes in the ball. It's a really cute wrapping. What's it called? I have it right here. I don't know why I'm bringing, not bringing off of it. Blender. Sorry. Linden. 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 That, that really cool chocolate. Again, that comes in the balls and it's just really pretty. Did you see that? Did anyone else see that bird? Scare the shit out of me. He'll come through the wall. No, but uh, that was one video that I want to talk about was the Mar and Paris situation. And I think what I'm gonna do with these live streams, instead of like uploading a whole long ass live stream, I'm just going to I'm gonna keep this one uploaded, but I'm going to edit it and then clip it together and then private the long ass. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a viewpoint. No, but, uh... What else was I gonna talk about? That whole- that- that threw me off. <laughs> that whole- that whole interaction with my sister threw me off. What was I gonna talk about? What was I gonna talk about? <laughs> there's that, there's a pilot situation, there's one with the hate Paris. There was another situation I was going to talk about. Oh, I didn't research that one actually. There was one about like a weird, I think it was a uh, alleged pedo-esque situation with this person uh, on Twitter, I think, that I didn't look into and I forgot. I don't think I bookmarked the post either. Fuck. <clears throat> Excuse me, that sucks. But there was a situation, I don't remember what it was or what it was about. I don't even remember who posted it, damn it. Fuck, who posted it? I probably put it in a sticky note somewhere, but I don't remember. But, uh, I was gonna talk about that, but I don't think I researched that. What else was I gonna talk about? <sighs> Fuck. 
I don't remember. Uh, also, if it's a song, I probably won't listen to it because, you know, copyright and whatnot. But yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I don't hear the music. <laughs> Which I'm glad I don't hear the music, but I don't hear the music on Genshin because it's not bad, but like, these cutscenes are so long and they mean nothing. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the divine archons still walked the earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dolce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child, full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept, as a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in a lone state. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms, a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber, only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe. Okay, I told them. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're the ones that said Zavalin. Zavalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Stormbringer. Why do you call him that? Oh, so close. Hey, so... Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. <laughs> Shut up, Paimon. <laughs> winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Of course it's about Stormbearer! Storm? Hey, cut it with the amnesia! Alright, show it to me. Oh, there's a nice... Zavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Mm-hmm. I'm the best. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should you stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I is really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Zavalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. Mm. He'll burn himself out in the flame of Thank you for that, and for purifying the teardrop crystal. But I have 
my own plans for what is to follow. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this spear has brought to mind a friend told me. A friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye-bye. You're a weirdo too, you know. You know what? We'll eat you, Paimon. Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows! It's that huge tree! You know, the gigantic one. You can't miss it. Surely you still remember. No, but uh, their long dialogue reminds me of like Ruby's long dialogue. But this, you know, it's acceptable here because it's a game. Of course, the dialogue's gonna be fucking long as shit. It's like having somebody have a real conversation, but like, and plus it's a video game, so later you're gonna have action, you're gonna play it yourself. But me, if I saw a flying, uh, Can't, damn it, I can't see the word after flying. Flying something coming into my house. I'm shooting it. First of all. I can see that. <laughs> Did I midget? Is that what you're saying? I want to say it's midget. I'm trying to like figure it out by going over my mic. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun game. What's that word? First of all. I'm not doing that. I'm taking it and putting it in a jar. If I can fit it in a jar. It's kind of, well, no, I guess Paimon size is more like a box. Like one of those big, uh, what's it called? It's not UPS, but those big Home Depot boxes. It'd be exactly like a box. <laughs> I can just, I, it's, I don't know why it's the funniest, cutest thing to me, is seeing her in a box. Oh, uh, that's adorable. Now I kind of want to see her in a box. Yeah, portable. I was right, it was midget. Haha. <laughs> you have to understand also that everything's delayed for me, so. There we go. Oh, uh, excuse me. I was blow myself up in the in the process. I don't know why. I know for a fact I can just shoot it and blow them up, but I don't know. Something about blowing myself up with it is just good to me. Can't cook anything good. I remember before I understood what everything meant, like how the plus means things that gain your health and the, uh, what is it, the other thing meant that like, it just revives you. I would cook everything and I would assume that all that I could use to, uh, revive myself and then when I found out that wasn't what it was, I was so mad because I'm like, what? why did anybody tell me that? Mm -hmm. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Hello, my, my, uh, my wolf. 122 friend. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Tavarin? Also, hello, other person. I know I read your comment, but this is nothing. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm skipping through it. I keep forgetting that y'all may have not watched this. <laughs> there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. I think there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. <laughs> Giant flying eye in the sky? The wind! I can't open my eyes! What is a creature like that? 
like that doing out here in mm. such a calm place? You think it was going after that green guy? His relationship with the wind seems even deeper than yours. I have made a shoot him, so that's fine. I can do. I don't want to bring out a character. Come on, bruh. down please I don't want to get somebody out that can beat you easily I really not get up there and just get you, please? Then you just come on, man. I just, I just want to kill you. I just want to kill you. That's all I want. I just love when people knock on your door. It's great. Ah, fucking bitch. Fuck you. Come on, I just want you to come here. I'm gonna high place, I'm just gonna... She's not wrong. Mm -hmm. The conflict has reached this point mm -hmm. only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know mm. is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. But now... Before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt flows. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. 
Okay. I tried to communicate with Javalin earlier, but was interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Javalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Yes, it was you. Don't do that, bitch. Make up for it. You're coming with me to the cathedral. The monks at cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar to him out. We're gonna steal. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna steal. He's asking us to steal. That's weird. <sighs> For some reason, it's very laggy. But it, it, it's weird. There's something weird happening with my computer right now, and I'm not happy about it. I'm too damn hard on this damn computer. I spent too much damn money making it nice. You can't leave me now. It's <sighs> got it. There we go. Anyways, this quest made me so anxious. Yeah, same. Oh, uh, God, I don't even want to think about the part coming up. God, I don't want to think about it. It's a pretty far away, but still too close for comfort. Anyways, hi, y'all. What are you guys doing today? I don't think I asked this before, but I'm sure I have. I don't think I did, but I'm also very sure because I have the brain of a pea and will forget little things. <laughs> hmm. Today has been very interesting, actually. It's been, what, 4 o'clock? How long have I been streaming? Oh, it's been like an hour. Damn. I thought it was a bit less than that. It felt like... Well, it feels like it's been like 30 minutes tops. It's been almost an hour and 30 minutes. That's fine. It's whatever. Hmm. I'm so mad about my border. I wish I could do it. Uh, I have to figure out what's wrong with that program, man. I need to. I love that program and it's so easy to use because it's just a simple thing. I don't have to make it super, like, you know, detailed, it doesn't feel like, like I have to find out what everything, you know, everything does and I'm missing out on something or anything like that. It's just like, oh, it's a simple program, like a simple thing that anybody can use. If somebody asks me how I did something, I don't have to try to explain to them in five parts. I can just explain to them. It's a whole thing. Uh, Give me a second. God, my nose is clogged. I don't know why I do that. It's like... Because I can't breathe for a second. I have to like... like do you like that noise? It's, hor it's a whole thing. It's horrible. That guy's been counting those coins for years now. Excuse me, I'm sniffling. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying not to. No, but I've been trying to make a bit more, not positive videos, but something that's a bit more fun, you know? But it's kind of been hard. I did think about... Turn that off. I did think about making an animation, and I started doing it, but then I was like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be making here. Turn my phone on silent. <sighs> the animations are kind of fun to make, though. To be fair, all day was good. My Luna album came in. How was yours? That's what I was trying to say. Um, brown burritos, man. <laughs> but yeah, mine was black. Program's not working, sick, depression, just, that's just, you know, every day. So it's like, ah, eh, you know, sucks. I feel like we're all kind of feeling a bit like we need to cling on to anything that 
gives us happiness and joy. And I know a lot of people are covering the uh, without a crystal ball um, thing. And that whole situation is kind of dumb. It just seems like some dumb bitch who's doing dumb, illegal, low-key shit that's toxic. And the people need to stop giving her attention because that's obviously what she wants. So... You know, it's it, it's like I wanna I wanna look into it and follow it, but like I can just I'm looking at it now and I'm like, the amount of people giving this girl the time of day is just crazy. She's obviously a stalker. That's why she's being sued right now. She's insane. Like I I don't want to give her any attention. Oh, you're gonna go? Well, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Wicked. Perhaps I can help Gabalin draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course. I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know. No matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eye. Do you not find me trustworthy? So how can we get the Holy Lyre? It said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral. Somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. Okay. Anyways. Oh, God, I forgot. Just write that quick. How I, what else can I talk about? Something else. I think that's kind of it. There have been a few more proceedings that I was going to talk about, but I have to look a little bit more into it. Uh, I may not be versed in every situation, but, you know, I'm trying. May the animal god bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. What a blessing from the god of Animo. But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help. I'd like to borrow the Holy Lyre. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Curved us. It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the night's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then, I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. My disciples... Rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended. Chopped, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Wait! <coughs> bat an eyelid but i have at least learned what i wanted to know she didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the holy lyre now since you're the hot shot of the knights of favonius maybe you can give it a shot mm. okay barbados bless you ah it's you the newcomer of the knights of favonius aren't you so what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grandmaster? Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Lyre as well. He's mm. full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. Okay. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Lyre. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Signed documents from the Grandmaster, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. Mm. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Okay. Now, 
If you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. I don't like your face. You're kind of mean. Oh, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best story. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. I know it. Today we stand for free will. Come now, All right. up. That's what creep. <laughs> Look at you. Sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice <coughs> if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. Mm. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. I did mention that. You're playing. Mm -hmm. Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? I will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna get the round steel shit. Okay. Time was it between eight and six? So There we go. Okay, this part always gives me so like it makes me so anxious, I guess. Cause look at that. Yeah, not get caught and it's so hard to fucking see. Okay. I did it. I had to hold my breath for a second. I didn't know you could speed up time. S same. I didn't know it until this point. She disappeared. Freeze. What are you doing oh, here? No, run. Like, oh, she's like, oh no, run. Like, we're to where? We live here. Where are we going? Stop it, God. Come on. Bruh, come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Here we go. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not talking so much. Uh, I think I got sidetracked twice now, so I'm just all over the place. The disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. The enemy. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bar. I'll go ask who exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. Seen two things around. What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <laughs> Haven't you heard, Master Dizu? Hmm? Two things are trying to steal the Holy Lion. What just happened? Why would he have heard? Oh, how odd. Isn't it? The Holy Lion is a treasure that was played by the god of animals himself. Such a precious piece of cultural heritage. Why would one want to steal something they can't show off? Would pay better to steal from my cellar. Sorry, off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master Dilu. <laughs> Where they salute like bitches. Today I think I'll have a glass of You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still. Huh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of. the. the owner of this tavern. Mm hmm. The boss of what? Dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Okay. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the garden. Yeah, dialogue is so long. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the holy Lyo de Hamel, even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. The wolf and I just stole it, so we're free to steal out now. This is the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hot shot? Ah, oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. It's a shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Pavonius. Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. Okay. Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now, answers. Why did you steal the Holy Lion? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated <coughs> in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five mora and the holy lion. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show. So much dialogue! Oh, it's not- I can't hear anything. What am I just witnessed? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master Diluc? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, 
It'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. <sighs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Okay. Here's what I'm not going to do. That. I don't want to hear any more dark dialogue, so... That being said, I'm going to leave and go find something else to do. Excuse me, I almost threw up just now. Ugh. Now let's see. Is there anything else I can do? No. Now to scope out the map, I guess. Well, actually, what time is it? And how long have we been streaming for? Well, it's almost been two hours. Damn. Yeah. I guess it has been almost two hours. I probably shouldn't. Um. Probably shouldn't be doing this anymore. I just don't know how to fix that program, and I'm so mad about it too. It's a lot of work, though. fuck is that? It's like a spirit randomly there. He's like, hey spirit. Well, I'll see you later. This kid's weird. He reminds me of uh, Silver. Almost. What's the name? Silver? That was cute. But yeah, from, from Sonic. He reminds me of uh, Silver. So now. Like a little bit like shadow, but also more like silver. Yeah, I should probably go. Eh, I don't need to, but like, it'd be. I mean, I don't really have anything to talk about in order to think about at this point. I should probably go. Damn it. Alright, because I have to go fix the program, so I'm going to figure that out, and I'm going to make a very light-hearted video that makes me feel good about myself, my life, my life choices. Anyways. Today was... Nope, wrong thing. Always do the wrong thing, like, four times. Interesting. Today was very interesting. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I kind of like streaming, but also it's kind of hard for me to stream personally because of the noise and me having to watch children on the weekdays. So hopefully tomorrow I won't stream. But I'll try to at least like make a video or something. Uh, it all depends. I was thinking about making a... A video on Ruby and reviewing that to be just like content for me to do so I'm not bored while I'm sick. But I guess it all depends. My eyes are burning now because I'm sick. Ah, my eyes hurt. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. And I'll try to almost hit somebody with a shoe outside who's yelling. But I will see you guys later. Goodbye.